um, right down the road from Old Orchard Beach. So, have you ever wondered why it's windy at the beach? Well, it has everything to do with what we've been learning about, hot air. What do we know about hot air? It expands when it gets hot. It becomes less dense. And so, what, what is happening here at the beach, Dylan, can you come hold the board for me? Because I'm going to write on it. What's happening here at the beach is the air here on the sand is heating up and rising. The air over the ocean is cold because that water is cold. We don't want it to touch our toes and it's coming our way. So I'm going to draw a diagram and I recommend that you do the same thing. So here's our beach and it goes down and we've got our ocean. I wonder, I did not look it up, but I wonder what the ocean temperature is right now. Probably in the 50s, 40s. We'll say that it is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold the board, bud. And the sand, because it's kind of a sunny day today, the sand actually feels warm. I bet the sand might be uh, almost 70 degrees. So, what's that going to do for our air? The air over the beach is warm. Warm air wants to rise. So I'm going to use a red arrow and show that the air is rising over the beach and the air over the ocean is cold. So that air is contracting, becoming more dense. Dense stuff sinks. So the air is sinking there. What's going to happen to this air when it hits the water? It has to go somewhere. And so it, it has to go somewhere. And so it goes to 